Hello everyone. Let us understand about components in Power Apps. Power Apps components are reusable building blocks that allow app makers to create custom controls to use inside app or across apps using a component library. Component libraries are used to store and manage components in Power Apps. They allow app makers to create a new component library or edit a component library from the same interface. Component libraries are recommended way to reuse components across apps and app maintains dependencies on the components it uses when, a co when it is using a component library. Let us understand uh, what it is and how it works. And prior to that, here if we uh, you know enter into the screen of Power Apps, this is my empty screen. You could select this new screen and create a blank screen like this. It will create a blank screen for us like this. You could zoom in, zoom out, click on new screen. We shall create three different uh, you know empty screens. Let us understand how to you know create a header just to showcase an example of a component. Usually what we could do is I can click on this insert. What I could do is I could bring a text label. Right. I could uh, uh, keep the text label over here. I could little expand it. And this is my text label. Here we could uh, give the color of text as white and we could fill the background as blue here we could uh, you know center align it and we could increase the font size maybe to 22 and here we could give the name of the screen as home page okay and uh, similarly if at all we want to make further changes for example I have an image I'll go to the media I'll bring the image over here I'll the bring I'll bring the image to here okay I'll just keep it on the right just to you know use it okay I, similarly if I could add multiple things and if I wanted to do it uh, repeatedly on each and every sc screen what I would uh, require to do is I need to select this you know the label and image and everything I need to copy it and I need to go to every screen and paste it okay and, and like this I need to go to every screen and paste it but it suppose that my requirement is I need to change the color or maybe text in each and every screen then it would become a manual task uh, in order to uh, solve such issue so in such a case where we have to reduce the manual task of um, you know doing the repeated things we could use something called components where it could uh, save lot of time for us what I'll do is I'll remove this uh, you know uh, copy pasted uh, header which we made let us try to understand how to make a component and bring the component into the power apps screen here you could see that beside the screens you could see this component click on new component this is our component where we could uh, make the things possible here what we could do is we could uh, see the set the width I can click on this width over uh, here okay by default it is 640 I want the width of app so I'll type app dot width okay once you type app dot width the width will be set to the app similar to the tablet size and with respect to height since I want header maybe I want only the height of 80 okay this is my uh, you know height of the component you could uh, you know see that here in a component by default I, I just change the width and height if you want to insert a text into it you can just insert the text label you can just you know increase the size of it till till here you can center align it change the font to 22 and change the color of text to white and you can change the color of uh, you know you can change the fill to blue or gray or any color that you like here in the text you could uh, instead of text you could write anything so this is a component which I have made I'll go back to the screens I'll click on the screen uh, okay I'll, I'll insert I can go to here 
insert you could see this option called custom you can click on this custom and you can bring this component to I'll select this component to you could see that wh whatever I have created the component it is uh, representing the component okay and similarly uh, the other screens also you could bring in the component right for example here I have selected the screen in 10 I can go to the custom I can bring the component and similarly I could do it for the other component other uh, you know screens in with respect to the component but if you could notice there is no change with respect to the text which is mentioned over there in order to make it uh, dynamically change and provide a user experience to change the header name what we could do is we could go to the components and uh, if you click on this component too here you have something called new custom property on the right side if you click on that here we could uh, provide a display name suppose that I want to change header I can write change header and input property or output property there are two types of properties input property is a type of property which can receive values from the app which the com which the component can use internally and output is the property where it can emit or state the component from which the app can use okay and what we need to do is here I'll select the input the data type would be text because I need to rename it I'll click on create once we create the input property as we could see that here in the components we have something called label and here we could uh, see that the label has the value called text and if we click on the screens for every screen if we click on this component you'll see this some uh, value called change header instead of text I can write maybe page 1 of app right and uh, similarly I can change the respective names uh, with respect to component but it is not applied over here in order to apply it to the header we'll go back to the components and we'll click on this label okay in the label on the top if you see the text here we have uh, something called that you know component 2 dot change header okay now it will pick up the value whatever the value the user provides within the screen from the screen tab right here if you see that I have provided page 1 of app similarly similarly I can go to this second component I can type page 2 of app right and similarly I could uh, go to the third page I could rename it as page 3 of app so in this way we could make use of uh, components and with respect to input properties I have shown you how it works we can go back again to the components and uh, similarly let us understand how output property works here we can click on this new custom property again now with respect to uh, you know an example I'll write something called welcome output okay now instead of property type input I wanted to give the output okay and uh, in the data type I'll keep text to make you understand easily I'll click on create now we have an output property here you could see the output property I can click on this welcome output on the top instead of text what we can write is a welcome note write like welcome to the application okay I'll write close the double quotes ampersand in order to give the username we have a function called user dot full name so this will fetch us the username completely and where we where we could see the output accordingly now we have the welcome output and its text data which is customized we'll go back to the screens okay here I'll click on the screen 9 now what I want is as soon as you know the you know user enters into this uh, page he must be able to see his uh, you know welcome note so what I'll do is I'll bring this insert text label okay I'll insert this text label in this text label what I could uh, you know change is here in the text instead of text I'll write component 2 underscore 1 dot 
welcome output so as soon as i bring that here you could see that uh, there is there is details mention welcome to the application the user name here i could increase the you know size where it is it is a little you know appearing similarly you could go to the next screen and you could add the similar label and make use of it this is how output property and input property works in a different way where output property takes the value and emits it within the screen but input property it takes the input and we could use the input as a part of component these are the components so far what we have seen is with respect to the canvas application and there is another way how we could uh, create a component i'll show you let us uh, you know take the power apps application front page or you could say home here in this home environment if you see you know here there is something called uh, you know applications but you you may not get all the applications over here you, you might uh, require to explore other things here you'll have only the applications which you have created you can click on more over here and you can click on this discover all okay once you click on discover all if you scroll down there is something called app enhancements and there is something called as component libraries over here you can see that save app components so you can use them in future apps so whatever you use uh, you know create by using component libraries you can use the components in multiple applications uh, unlike the canvas components in the canvas components you'll be able to apply the component only to that particular app but if you create component libraries you can create any you know uh, library of components and use it in any further apps in future that you create now if you click on that you can see a, you know how to create new component library you can click on this new component library you can just give uh, you know a random name that i'll i'll give that you know change header new or something like that and i'll cl click on create the major difference between uh, the canvas application and uh, the power apps uh, component library is that uh, you know we could access this component libraries in all the other apps which we create in future unlike the canvas component app and in the canvas component app if we you know go to the components and here on the right side we could see something called canvas app scope and if we turn it on okay we could access the access the global variables and our context lo, you know context variables which we have created within the app and we could use that whereas in this uh, you know component library which we are going to create we don't have that uh, access uh, you know scope instead of that there is customization which is allowed for the different applications that we use so this would enable us to use multiple properties within the application and similar to the uh, you know component which which we have created in canvas here also we could uh, create such a component for example i'll click on width i'll type app dot width and will we have restricted the app dot width and height similarly i'll make it as 80 and here we could directly fill it as blue color and here i'll go to insert i can insert the text label here it will insert the text label increase the size of text a little bit and here we could write the text as maybe overview okay and uh, i could change the color of the text as white here so this is our component library which we have saved we can save this okay and if at all click on more click on discover all and if you scroll down click on this component libraries and here you could see that we have the new component which is created in the library which is called change header new 42 seconds ago now if we go back to the our, our first screen instead of camp canvas component screen in order to insert component libraries click on this insert in the bottom you could see something called as get more components if you click on this get more components okay you can refresh over here you could see this uh, component which is change header new click on this component one click on import once you import that 
okay it will be imported here into the library components here you could see that in custom we have the canvas components when we click on this insert button and in the library components we have the component libraries which are being created right now this is this is with respect to the component I can go to the again tree view and click on screen you could uh, just see how to use it I can click remove this I can delete this component I can click on insert instead of uh, taking the custom component I'll take the component library which is being created there are you know I have created it once priorly and I didn't delete it I could again you know take this one you could see that our overview is appearing we could just customize it by you know little customizing it by adjusting the size of it I hope you have understood the difference between a component and component libraries this is all for today thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video